Right, pulling the inner axle seal out. Uh, you want your seal pick. You just want to get it in there, in on the back of that seal, and pry it out without touching the diff housing itself. You don't want to scratch the outer sealing surface of this seal. Just pops out like that. Let's give it a good clean up in there. That's your bearing cage. It's just to protect the uh, the diff center in case your wheel bearing ever explodes. So that just goes in before the seal. You don't even have to take it out. And grab your new seal and just put a little bit of liquid gasket on the outside. Just a tiny bit. Just in case there's any imperfections on the outside of this seal. Because I have had problems before. It's not actually been the seal leaking. Someone scratched the surface that this sits on. And the seal hasn't sealed properly. Just a light film around the outside. Now, if you didn't take notice on what way the seal goes when you pull the old one out, there's a flat side there, and then there's that side that's got the little metal spring in it. The little metal spring always faces oil, so you want to put it in flat side out, like that. I found this 55mm socket for Toyota wheel bearing nuts, which is actually the perfect size for this seal. I'll just put an extension on that that I can hit. Now just get a bit of rubber grease on that sealing surface just so for when you install the axle the axle doesn't pinch on the seal and damage it when you put it in. <laughs> 